Have you ever stopped to think about how your life would be if you could increase your energetic vibration and with that completely transform your reality? The truth is that the less you think, the higher your vibration becomes. It may seem counterintuitive, but when our mind is filled with incessant thoughts, we move away from the true essence of who we are and the pure elevated energy we can access. Think about the happiest moments of your life. What were you thinking at that moment, or rather were Yao, you thinking about anything? What if the secret to achieving these moments of happiness and fulfillment was in reducing the number of thoughts that occupy your mind? Daily Raising your personal vibration is one of the most transformative practices you can adopt when our vibration is high. We feel more connected, present, and in harmony with the universe. This reflects in all aspects of our lives, from our relationships to our opportunities for personal and professional growth. High vibration attracts people's circumstances and experiences that resonate with this positive e, e energy. So today, let's explore a powerful technique that can raise your vibration in a profound and lasting way, thought reduction. I'm going to share with you how this simple change can have a significant impact on your life, giving you a sense of peace, clarity, and alignment with your life purpose. When we are vibrating at a higher frequency, our physical body becomes healthier as vital energy flows freely strengthening our immune system and promoting a general sense of well-being in relationships. We begin to attract people who share the same high vibration, resulting in deeper and more harmonious connections. In terms of personal and professional growth, a high vibration align us with our life's purpose, opening doors to opportunities that resonate with our true desires and talents. High vibration transforms not only our perception of the world, but also our experience of it, allowing us to live more fully and satisfactorily. It's a process that leads you to transform your life from the inside out, and in this way you live more peacefully attracting positive synchronicities and constantly feeling in a state of well-being and gratitude this technique i'm going to share with you will not only change the way you relate to your thoughts but will also raise your vibration to levels you never imagined would be possible but how can fewer thoughts lead to a higher vibration imagine for a moment that you are going back in time reliving a memory that brings you extreme happiness it could be a moment of pure joy with friends and family, a moment of person-personal achievement, or a simple walk where you felt completely at peace. Now close your eyes and let that memory. Ye arise focus on the sensations that permeate this moment you. Might feel the warmth of the sun on your skin, hear the laughter around you, or even smell the flowers in the air. Allow yourself to fully immerse in this memory feeling every detail intensely. The idea of this exercise is for you to realize that, that during these moments of happiness, your mind was free from worries and incessant thoughts. You were simply present, experiencing the fullness of the now. There was an absence of excessive thoughts, a calmness that filled your being, allowing you to experience E-life in a pure and authentic way, this absence of thoughts is a state of flow where we are fully immersed in the present experience. It is in this state that our vibration reaches higher levels as we are aligned with the essence of who we truly are. So when our mind is calm and our thoughts are reduced, we make space for our natural elevated energy to flourish. The relationship between the absence of thoughts and a higher vibration is profound. Our thoughts, especially repetitive and negative ones, can create energetic blockages that prevent us from a cessing our true vibration. They take us away from the present moment, trap us in past worries or future anxieties, and diminish our ability to connect with the positive energy around us. But when we reduce these thoughts, we allow our energy to flow freely. Without obstacles, we become more receptive to the higher vibrations of the universe, attracting people, circumstances, and experiences that resonate with this positive energy. This energy field which surrounds and permeates our physical body is strengthened by inner peace and the absence of ment. Al turbulence, it protects us from negative external influences, creating a natural barrier against energies 
that do not resonate with our elevated vibration. It's like tuning a radio to the right frequency. When we are at the high frequency, everything in our life begins to align in a harmonious and gratifying way. This practice of remembering moments of happiness and noticing the absence of excessive thoughts can be a powerful reminder of how our vibration is naturally raised when we are present and at peace. Now that we have reflected on how the absa ends of thoughts is connected to moments of deep happiness, it's essential to understand more deeply the relationship between our thoughts and our vibration. First of all, it's essential to know the difference between thinking and thoughts. Thinking is the action of processing information, solving problems, or making plans. It is an active and continuous mental activity. On the other hand, thoughts are the objects of the mind, the ideas and images that arise spontaneously in our consciousness. While thinking is a verb that denotes action, thoughts are nouns that sigh imply exist, this distinction leads us to realize that we are not our thoughts, but rather the observers of them thinking is a useful tool for solving specific problems. But when this activity becomes incessant, it distances us from inner peace and quiet. As I always tell you, thoughts have a profound impact on our energetic vibration. Continuous thoughts, especially those of a negative nature, create a cycle of stress and anxiety that lowers our vibration. Each thought carries a frequency, and when we repeatedly engage in negative thoughts, our vibrational frequency NCY adjusts to that lower level when we are stuck in patterns of thought. Our reality is influenced. The mind creates a filter through which we perceive the world, and this distorted filter can attract more situations that reinforce these thoughts. Continuous thoughts are like an incessant current that consumes our vital energy when we are caught in a cycle of thoughts, especially negative or repetitive ones, our mind does not rest. This constant state of mental activity generates stress and anxiety, creating an internal environment of turbulence that reef lecks in our energy field. Imagine your energy field as a river that should flow freely. Continuous thoughts act as debris that accumulate in the river, blocking the natural flow of water. These energy blockages can manifest in various ways, such as constant tiredness, lack of mental clarity, uncontrolled emotions, and even physical problems. Vital energy, which should circulate freely, becomes stagnant, and this lowers our vibration. When I say that the less you think, the higher you vibrate, it's because it brings you mental peace, allowing a more harmonious energy flow when we manage to reduce the number of thoughts especially those that do not serve our well-being. We create an inner space of silence and calm. This space is vital for energy to flow freely without obstacles. Many spiritual masters throughout history have emphasized the importance of emptying the mind and living in the present Buddha. For example, taught that attachment to thoughts and desires is the root of suffering. He suggested the practice of meditation as a means of observing and detaching from thoughts, thereby achieving a state of no mind. Our mental emptiness, Eckhart Toa, a great spiritual author also, constantly emphasizes living in the present moment, highlighting that true peace and enlightenment come from being fully present. He explains that identification with the mind and its thoughts is what keeps us trapped in suffering. Ramana Mahari, an Indian sage, also taught about the importance of self-inquiry and the question, who am I to dismantle the identification with thoughts and realize the true nature of the self, which is pure consciousness and high vibration, but reducing incessant mental acti, vitae, and focusing on the present doesn't mean we should stop thinking completely. Instead, it means observing thoughts without attaching to them, allowing our true essence to shine through mental stillness. And when we understand this, we begin to see life from a new perspective, where our vibration is raised and our experiences are transformed. So I will share with you a powerful technique to achieve this elevated state. The observation of thoughts. The technique of observing thoughts is simple, but requires practice and patience to start find a quiet, quiet place where you can sit comfortably without being disturbed.
Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths to center yourself. Imagine you are watching a movie, but the movie is your thoughts. Instead of getting involved or reacting to them, just observe them passing through your mind when a thought arises briefly. Acknowledge it, don't judge or try to control these thoughts. Allow them to come and go without trying to change, eliminate, or judge any of them. Just accept them as they are without attachment. If you notice that you've become involved with the th, ought gently bring your attention back to the observer. Position, don't get frustrated. Just return to focus. Dedicate a few minutes every day to this practice. Start and gradually increase the time as you feel comfortable. This practice of observing thoughts without attaching to them creates an inner space that is, is essential for raising your vibration. This space allows you to distance yourself from negative and repetitive thoughts, reducing their impact on your energy when you become an observer. Stress decreases because you are no longer identifying wit. H. Every thought of worry or anxiety with fewer thoughts. Competing for your attention. You gain mental clarity allowing you to make more conscious decisions aligned with your true self. Observing thoughts helps to recognize emotional patterns without being dominated by them, promoting balanced emotional health. Additionally, the space created by observation allows new ideas and insights to emerge often unexpectedly and inspiringly. This is one of my favorite practices because it calms me, and at the same time, I get to know myself better with each observation. A few years ago, I was going through a period of intense stress and anxiety. My thoughts were in a constant cycle of worries about the future and regrets about the past. I started studying some subjects about the mind and the subconscious, and then decided to adopt the practice of observing my thoughts. It was challenging at first. My thoughts seemed like a crazy current, but over time I began to notice moments of stillness between them. I felt a deep sense of peace and a connection with the present moment that I had never experienced before this practice not only reduced my stress, but also helped me to maintain a higher and more constant vibration. These moments became more frequent, and eventually I realized that I could choose not to engage with negative thoughts. This new perspective allowed me to better understand how my thoughts affect my energy and, consequently, my energy field. I would say that understanding, understanding the energy field is fundamental to MAE, maintaining a high vibration and a balanced life, the energy. Field, also known as the aura, is an extension of our being. It is made up of subtle energies that emanate from our physical body and reflect our emotional, mental, and spiritual state. Our thoughts and emotions have a direct impact on this energy field. Positive thoughts and high vibration emotions strengthen and expand our energy field. On the other hand, negative thoughts and dense emotions can contract and weaken this field. That's why keeping our energy field clean is essential for a vibrant and heal. Thy life a healthy energy field protects us from negative external influences and helps us to attract experiences and people who resonate with our high energy. The regular practice of observing thoughts already helps keep the energy field clean, but there are other practices that can also reinforce this cleaning and effective technique for cleansing and protecting the energy field is purification meditation. Find a quiet place, sit comfortably and close your eyes, visualize a bright white light enveloping your entire body. Imagine this light penetrating every cell, dissolving any negative or dense energy. Breathe deeply and with each exhale release these energies, letting the white light cleanse and revitalize your energy field. Our energetic interaction with other people and environments is continuous and often unconscious. For example, when you enter a room full of people, you can immediately feel the vibe of the environment. This is because your energy field is interacting. With other people's energy fields similarly places like hospitals where there is a lot of pain and suffering can make you feel energetically drained. When we are aware of these interactions, we can take steps to protect and cleanse our energy field. Collective thoughts and external influences from society, family media, and other environments significantly impact our vibration. The society we live in is like a cauldron of collective thoughts and emotions 
that can affect our individual energy from childhood. We are bombarded with beliefs and values that shape e, our perception of ourselves and the world, many of. These influences are absorbed unconsciously and can create thought patterns that do not resonate with our true essence. For example, the pressure to conform to certain standards of success, beauty, or behavior can generate thoughts of inadequacy and low self-esteem. These collective thoughts can lower our vibration if we are not aware of them. Our families have their own beliefs and patterns of behavior that are often passed down from generation to generation. These influences can be both positive and negative. Various limiting beliefs can be internalized and affect our vibration and ability to manifest a positive reality. Identifying these influences is the first step towards letting go of them. The practice of observation, which we discussed before, is fundamental here. By observing our thoughts, we can begin to discern which are really ours and which have been absorbed from the external environment. So ask you, herself, is this thought really mine or is it something I've learned from society or my family? This questioning helps us to distinguish our inner voice from external influences. Detaching from these influences requires specific practices and daily exercises that help maintain a high vibration. You can create positive affirmations that reinforce your essence and use them daily. Affirming your own truth is very important. For example, I am enough, I am worthy of, love and success. I am free to be myself. Repeating these affirmations with conviction helps reprogram your mind and raise your vibration daily. Self-care practices are fundamental to minimizing external influence activities like spending time in nature, practicing physical exercise, maintaining a healthy diet, and reserving moments of silence and introspection helps strengthen our energy and resistance to negative influences. But the regular practice of hobbies you love and that bring joy also raises your vibration. These are practices that not only reduce exposure to negative of collective thoughts, but also allow you to reconnect with yourself and your essence. However, I need to remind you that consistency and commitment are essential to achieve the desired results. Remember that every little step counts and that transformation is a gradual process. Patience and perseverance are your allies on this journey. So keep exploring, learning, and applying these techniques and observe how your life transforms in surprising and wonderful ways each day. Yo, you become more aligned with your true essence, allowing universal energy to flow through you in a purer and more powerful way. Over time, you will notice that life becomes more fluid and harmonious, and that challenges are faced with a new perspective of strength and clarity. So embrace this journey with an open heart and a serene mind, and get ready to live a life of greater happiness, peace, and fulfillment. Thank you for embarking on this journey with me. If this video resonated with you, I invite you to like and subscribe to our channel. Share this video with others so they can benefit from this message and don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts, reflections, and experiences. Thanks again for watching and for joining me. Take care and see you soon.